Hello everyone and welcome back to our channel and I'm getting ready to have a little snack and I'm going to make one of those wraps. So I thought that you guys might want to see how the wrap looks when it's finished. So here's the ingredients that you need for the wrap. Some kind of cheese and I use the Mexican blend because it's got a lot of different types of cheese in it. And then your, your wraps. Now these wraps that I've got here, these came from the Dollar Tree. So they have a little bit more calorie in them than the ones that I, those little small ones that I had before. I've done used them up. So these have a little bit more, they're bigger in size, so you're going to get a bigger sandwich with these. And then you have your meat of choice. My meat that I'm using today is peppered chicken. And then you're supposed to use the humus, the hummus, which I do have the hummus here. This is the everything uh, bagel hummus that I bought. But I'm not going to be using that to make my wrap today. I'm going to be finishing up with my smokehouse. Because my smokehouse, um, I've already started using it. As you can see, it's almost empty. So I want to go ahead and finish it up. So that's the ingredients. And here's how I put it together. We'll set this up here because I've already got everything measured out. The first thing you do is take your either your hummus or your spread, and it calls for two tablespoons. Well, the recipe doesn't. You can put as much on there as you want. But I'm going by the size that it has for the calorie count. Uh, and so let me show you that, too. Even before I get started, let me show you that. Because I figured out the calories on it, and I think it's a pretty... A low calorie snack to have. If you do it with the hummus, your total for all these ingredients that you put in it is 310. And if you do it for the smokehouse, it's a little bit more because of the cream cheese probably and the extra meat. It's 380. But all in all, I think that's a relatively low calorie count. And so it calls for two tablespoons of either hummus or the smokehouse cream. And then you just take that and you're going to spread it around on your tortilla shell. And then if you have sliced cheese, you would lay your sliced cheese on there. But since I'm using the grated cheese and it calls for one fourth cup, I just take the cheese and I sprinkle it on to the hummus or the spread, whichever one you're using. And then the last thing that you'll do is your meat. Now you can chop your meat up if you want, or you can just lay it on their hole. I usually lay it on their hole just like this. Of course, if you're using shredded meat, like shredded pork or beef, you'll just sprinkle on the amount. And then you just take it and, and you begin to roll it up. And I always push in a little bit on the meat like this, because if you don't, the meat has a tendency to walk towards the edge. And it will get out over the top of your uh, tortilla. So I do it like that. Then once you get it all rolled up, it looks like this. And then you can either cut it in half and have two pieces or cut it in fourths. I like to cut it in fourths. So I just take, cut down to the middle like this. Here's what it looks like on the inside. You can also add uh, green onions if you want. Maybe even to chopped tomatoes. I never have, but I mean, if a person wanted to, they could put some green onions chopped up on there, maybe some finely diced tomatoes, maybe even some mushrooms. You know, it just depends on what your, your particular likes are. And then you have it all cut up like this on your plate. See your little meats inside and your cheese. And I think with this, if you would add like a glass of ice water and maybe a bag, not a full bag, but, you know, a serving size of air-baked uh, potato chips, 
that you would have a pretty decent little snack. So that's it for this one. And remember, you're supposed to make it with the hummus, which is, I, and there's all different types of hummus. I just thought this one here that said everything, it's like the everything bagel hummus. I thought it looked really, really good. So that's why I picked it. But this smokehouse that I've been using, oh man, it has been really good. I'll open it up and show you. I've almost completely used every bit of it up because I've been making these wraps for snacks pretty much daily. And like I said, I've already went through one package of tortilla shells by making it. But this smokehouse um, burnt ends from market side from Walmart is very good for making this. And then you can use cheddar cheese, uh, Kobe Jack cheese, mozzarella cheese, any kind of cheese you want. Turkey, ham, um, beef, any kind of meat that you want to put on it. And it just makes a really decent little snack. So that's it for this video. Thank you guys so very much for coming and visiting with us today. And if you would, just give it a little thumbs up. And y'all come back and see us any old time. Bye for this one.